Hello everyone, I'm going to be doing a little video series on how to provide plugin support in your .NET application. Uh, we're going to be dealing with the C Sharp programming language and I've, I've got this little diagram in front of me. In each of the videos I'm going to talk about how to provide support for each of these parts. So in all of my videos I'm going to talk about how you're going to use the plugins in the program. In this video I'm going to talk about how to write the plugin framework and in another video I'm going to make an example plugin. So let's get started on our plugin framework. <coughs> We're going to go into Visual Studio, go File, New, Project. And it will be a Visual C Sharp class library. And we're going to call it Plugin Interface. Once that has happened, you'll get this. Um, you'll get an empty class. So let's change some of the stuff in this. We want to change public class, class 1, to public interface. And I'm going to name my, my thing I plugin. I'm going to save that. Now, designing the plugin interface is probably, probably going to take a long time on a proper program, but for to save time, I've pretty much planned this out beforehand, and this is going to be a really simple example. What my interface is going to implement is a string. I mean, sorry, every plugin that implements this interface has to have three methods. One of them is going to return a string, and it's going to be called get plugin name that's simple it's also going to return another string which is going to return um, some computer information that this plugin provides so I'm going to go string get information also, since we don't want this to be a one-way communication, we want we want our program to be able to set something within the plugin. We're gonna go void set var, and the variable is gonna be a string. And that's pretty much pretty much it. Now we're gonna go build build solution. And you wanna keep track of where the, where you've built the solution because we're gonna use this DLL file in both our program and our plugins that we make. Um, that's it for vi this video. I'll see you guys in the next video.